And Sean, if you look at the um, missed tackle rate, it wasn't really egregious compared to what your average had been heading into this game. Um, but it did seem like when there were missed tackles, there was no one else swarming. Um, was it, obviously, that had a lot to do with them doing a good job getting players into space. But did you see anything else in that regard, why guys weren't swarming? No, you know, I think, uh, like you said, I think they gave credit to them. They did a good job of uh, scheming up some space plays. Uh, and, you know, I got to do a better job of putting our guys uh, in position to be able to uh, get tighter and corral in those areas. You know, and so I, I, it starts with me. I got to do a better job of getting those guys in that position to get them tighter when they're trying to make it that space game uh, on different levels. So you like the effort? I think the effort, you know, I think uh, at all levels, you know, I got to improve. I think every player knows that we all got to improve from an execution standpoint and everything too, but uh, I got to be able to help them also. Uh, do, you see, uh, do, you, do you see uh, Shaq Leonard as a third down linebacker in your defense, and why do you think some of that wasn't there with him as a close? Yeah, you know, I can't speculate on anything that happened with the Colts, uh, but, you know, I mean, Shaq's been a all-down, all-pro linebacker in this league, and so we're excited to get him in here and, Get, uh, get working with him, uh, kind of teach him our stuff and have part of that room and compete with everybody and, and then move forward that way. So, uh, you know, it's just a, a, another good piece because we like the guys that we've got in that room and it's just another great job of getting another veteran presence there for us. Sean, when you, when you watch film of space us. plays, Sean, when you talk about those space plays, um, how much is that? To, everybody runs them. So how much of it is about the playmakers versus uh, scheme and things like that? Well, I think it's always, it, I mean, you know, for, from my end, it's always, I always look at myself and uh, figure out the scheme part of it, you know, and I, I got to continue to do that and, and put our guys in a game like that in better positions more consistently to be able to make those plays that we're asking. You're right. I mean, this is a space game and some teams attack different spaces differently and, and uh, credit those guys at San Fran, they did a good job of attacking some uh, soft spots in our zones and they, they hit us on some calls that, you know, I got I to gotta reflect on and put our guys in better positions on. When you watch film uh, of that game, what bothered you the most? Uh, you know, I would say there's a lot of things. You know, uh, for me, it's always, like I told uh, uh, here, it was just, you know, I got to get get to some calls differently and get to them a little bit quicker and get to them in better situations. You know, that that's what I got to be able to do. And, and that is what's going to help our guys uh, execute uh, in a cleaner uh, format. And so I got to do a better job of that. And, you know, we, we started the game fast. You know, we, we played really good in the first quarter and then, uh, uh, I, I didn't get get to the things that we need to get to fast enough. Seemed like one of the advantages that you guys had going in was the defensive front against their offensive line that didn't really seem to manifest, uh, or maybe you saw it differently. But why? You know, what's the why behind that in your opinion? Yeah, again, it's the same thing. I got to get to our answers faster. You know, I think I think uh, you know we we saw in the first quarter. You know, we got some pressures and some quarterback hits on them uh, early, uh, and we did a great job there. And then I think we continue to try to get around him and and do some things, but I got to be able to uh, change that look and, and get guys in better at more advantageous positions more consistently. So when you talk about getting to the answers faster, what's that process like on the sideline, and how do you speed that up? Yeah, uh, you know, I think, I think to be honest with you, I think we've done a good job of it this year. You know, I really do over the, over the course of the year. Um, and this game, I think we, we, we the coaches, and, and we all talk about it, and we continue to lean in with each other, and it's just a matter of me calling the right play at the right time. You know, and and give credit to them. They, they, they hit more right plays at the right time than, than I did. Did they, did they change anything, like, after that first quarter when you guys, you know, get pressure on Purdy? And, like, did they do anything differently? Or, is it, or was it just kind of like how the game was going? No, I think, uh, you know, I think one thing that they leaned into was their four-by-one passing game, you know, uh, and, and that, was, that was good of them. And it, and it uh, I got to be able to get us into our answers to the four-by-one game a little bit faster and more consistently. And they did it on some mixed down situations, you know, uh, where we're, and they, they kind of played off of some of their run pass tips. And he, he did a good job of calling it that way. Uh, and, you know, we were, we were good on some and not good on others. And we were not good uh, you know, in terms of the play call there. You know, it, it exposed us in, in space. And so that, that's on me. I got to be more, uh, more better, better, longer. However you want to say that, I got to be better, longer. That game, that, game obviously was, that game obviously wasn't what you wanted, but it, if you go back five games, you guys have given up a lot of yards over the last five games. What, what, what do you think, how do you think you can change this and why do you think you can? Yeah, I think, I think we lean back into what we, what we believe in. You know, I think uh, we lean back into our techniques, and that's right. You know, over the last few games, we have given up some yards. Uh, we've done a good job of holding some points down and winning in some areas. Uh, you know, we've got to get better in our third down and red zone defense for sure. Uh, 
over the course of that span. And we will. I think uh, the, the biggest thing is, you know, uh, giving guys a clean plan that's uh, really detailed and highly uh, uh, understandable and processable for them so they, they feel confident in going out on the field, our players feel confident going out on the field and executing that plan. Uh, and I think we've done, done a good part of that uh, for a lot of the year. And, you know, this last game, like I said, I just got to get to some answers faster. Sean, when things start to snowball uh, like they did. The has a follow-up with that 29th in the league in, in red zone, 32nd in third down. What's your focus on, on situational football in particular and, and, and like the emphasis that gets in, in discussions throughout the week? Yeah, it's a high, high focus. High focus and it's going to get even higher. Uh, you know, I get, we got to do a better job as a staff and as, as coaches and myself uh, leading the staff uh, in those areas, you know, and we will, and we will do a better job there. And, and it's about being uh, more consistent for longer. You know, uh, the last few uh, trips down into the red zone, we've gotten to third down, you know, and then we have, we've lost on third down. So uh, we, we got to just do better and put our guys in better position uh, to go ahead and, and execute down there. And back to, back to Shaq, I know it's primarily a will with the Colts. How much difference – is there, and how you might use them in your defense here, and what ways can you uh, be used here? Yeah, you know, I think we feel confident with his uh, ability, and obviously, obviously his learning ability. I mean, uh, he's been around a lot of, played a lot of good football, been around a lot of good coaches. So I think he feels comfortable playing, being in a stacked position. We'll keep him there, and we'll keep him anchored, uh, and then he'll be able to do some things. Our, our backers can play interchangeable, as you've seen this, this year, too. You know, they've been in different spots. And so I think uh, as he learns the system and learns where we use our guys, uh, We'll find a nice role for him. Sean, does, Sean when, the, when things start to snowball like they did Sunday, they had six straight touchdown drives. What about the mental aspect of guys kind of get down on themselves? What do you, what can you do to make sure that doesn't happen and they stay engaged in the game? Yeah, I mean, our guys are great. You know, they're they're, they're so, such professionals, and 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 I think they uh, like all of us. We're just trying to get to that answer fast, and they're, they're looking to me, and I got to be better for them. You know, I got to be better for them. I got to uh, get them in the right call faster. And more consistently, you know, and I think that's that's what it comes down to. In terms of the investment in the position of linebacker, the Eagles' uh, salary cap dollars are like among the, the lowest, 31st or something like that in the NFL. This has been a long-standing uh, philosophy here about that position. Do you agree with that evaluation? I agree with everything that we do here. Yeah, so I agree with everything that we do here. I think I think, uh, and, and it's what stood the test of time, you know, and and uh, and, I, and I've, I'm fully convicted on it. I think. Uh, all of our leadership, from Mr. Lurie on down to Howie to Nick, we do a tremendous job, and the communication's great. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm all in. The, uh, you the Leonard, Nick Sirianni mentioned arm length in particular, um, and between between Shaq and Zach Cunningham, you have two guys like that. What's the benefit of arm length as a as, as linebacker? Man, you know, uh, just the ability to go downhill and strike blockers, right, in the run game and shed and disengage in the pass game, uh, it just – increases your range to ability to uh, cover and, and uh, eat up space. Uh, so I think those are a couple of things that uh, why arm length is uh, important at that position. Hey, Sean, yeah, the 48-yard catch and run by, by Debo, um, aside from you know, the, the Morrow uh, tackle, what else could have been done from you know play calling to the rest of the group, if you can go into as much detail as you can? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, the play call, uh, get more people around there in the middle of the field uh, in that situation. You know, uh, we... we, we Tried to uh, get him into a little pressure situation there, uh, and it was it was you know they had a good call up and, and they they kind of high load Nick over there and it's not his fault you know he he did the best he could in terms of that situation because he was getting high load on his uh, uh, he had an over route coming too you know and then he had to break down on the underneath route so I just got to get more people there you know and that that goes back to me putting the guys in the right position the right calls at the right time you know and I, I didn't do a good enough job of that in that game. Is it helpful uh, dating back to? training camp early with Zach and then you had Bradley and, and Kevin having to get guys going really quickly coming in late now you got to do it again with Shaq is there sort of a silver lining that you've done it you got a template for sure you know we feel confident in our teaching our coaches do a tremendous job you know meeting with these guys extra uh, and like you said you we've done it before uh, and we got to just lean right back in and go do it again you know we, we're we're excited for this next week it's another great opportunity for us uh, and, and, you know, obviously with Shaq, bringing him in and having him learn it and see what his ramp up is. And then we just go right back to work and we get going. In the last 49ers, couple of weeks. Are the 49ers, are the 49ers more taxing on linebackers than most teams in this league? I mean, they, cause, because of all the things they do as an offense. And, and also, Nick had a rough day, but he, he's been having a good season. What do you say to him after a game like that? Yeah, I say, I'm sorry, man. i got to put you in better spots. 
you know, I got, I got, I got to do a better job for you. And, and yeah, I mean, I think that offense is a good offense. You know, they, they, they've always been a good offense. They do some uh, good things schematically. They match their run and play passes together, and they put binds on guys, you know. Uh, and uh, so it's a credit to them of doing that. And, and for Nick, I mean, you know, like you said, he's played a lot of good football for us, right? And so one, one game doesn't define you. One game doesn't define us as a defense. You know, we're going to continue to build from here and, and get better, and, and, and we will, you know, we will do that. John, with all the more pieces you've added at positions where communication is so important, is there a concern that these guys won't have the adequate time to really get on the same page? Yeah, I think that's always a concern, but that's our job. You know, that's our job as coaches is to make sure that uh, we, we have uh, a tight enough plan that's well detailed and thought out that uh, they feel confident uh, communicating everything that we need to be able to communicate and adjust in a game like that where things are moving. Uh, and so we got to do a better job of that. I got to do a better job of that. And, uh, and so th I think that that's that's kind of a, why we're in this. You know, we, we got to be able to develop guys and and teach them. And regardless of the time that you get with them, bottom line is the bottom line. What did you learn from the uh, last game and how you guys defended TD now that you're facing facing them again? Uh, what I learned from it, we got to do a better job of getting around him too. You know, uh, uh, you know, he obviously had a lot of catch and run yards on us uh, underneath stuff and catch and run stuff. So try to uh, make sure there's some uh, bodies underneath. Uh, that can help us. We did a good job overall in terms of limiting them in the red zone and, and keeping points off the board. Uh, but we got to do a better job earlier uh, and just get around him a little bit more. Go ahead. Your first year as a defensive coordinator here, and you were saying earlier you agree with everything to have a, um, a way of doing things that people feel longstanding. But how flexible are they whenever you come in with your own ideas um, and maybe be requesting for different things? Like how, how flexible do you find that conversation? Uh, I think uh, they're very supportive, and, and it's a very open-door policy. Uh, everybody here has been just tremendous that way. You know, and like you said, as it, a new person coming into the organization, uh, it's been with open arms and very uh, – It's I, I can't ask for a better type of situation in that regard, you know, uh, and, and they've been great. Good. Thanks. Thanks.